Hi, I'm going to walk you through getting Grocery Sync up and running with your um, a Sync Gateway running locally in your workstation. In the last screencast, we got the Grocery Sync uh, demo app running with uh, a Sync Gateway that was already provided that was running in the cloud. Um, but in this kit, in this in this cast, we'll go we'll go over how to uh, install a local Sync Gateway and configure it to use that. Just a quick refresher on the architecture. Uh, it's going to look like this, minus the Couchbase server. Uh, we're we're going to use Sync Gateway with a built-in in-memory database called Walrus, and that's um, that's not something you would want to go production with, but it's very convenient for uh, local development, um, and it just simplifies the setup. So here's kind of what it looks like. Uh, we aren't going to have two devices but um, we're going to use kind of curl in, in place of a, a, a one device. But, but the, the typical use case is your, your app would be adding data to a local couch base light. All that data would then uh, have a bi-directional sync with a sync gateway running in the cloud. And then any other apps um, potentially logged in as different users would, would also sync that data. So um, let's, let's walk through this. So. I'm just going to go down the README. This is under the optional step of configuring a custom sync gateway. So I'm going to go ahead and download a pre-built binary. Uh, you, you could also build it from source. So I'll get the uh, OS 10 binary. And I'm going to go ahead and extract that and then uh, change directory into the extracted directory. And going back to the instructions, I'm going to go ahead and download a configuration JSON file. And I'll cat that out just so you can see what it is. It's a very simple config file. Uh, here we're de declaring to use Walrus as a backend, and here we're saying that uh, guest users are enabled. Uh, Grocery Sync doesn't have any authentication, so it, everyone who connects just connects as a guest user, and all the data is shared among all the users. Okay, so going back to the steps here, going to go ahead and run Sync Gateway and tell it to use that configuration. So it starts up, everything looks good, saying that it's uh, using a Grocery Sync database. And um, now I'm going to go ahead, um, I've already changed the URL in, this is in the main activity uh, dot, uh, dot Java. Um, these, the URL you should use is, is documented here under the configure grocery sync with sync gateway URL. So um, I'm using Jenny, the Jenny Motion emulator, so I'm going to use this, uh, this URL. If you were using the standard, uh, standard emulator, you'd want to use this one. And if you're running on a device, you would basically want to get the device on the Wi-Fi and then use the IP of your workstation. So i um, going to deploy to the emulator. It's currently not installed, so this is a fresh install. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. OK, so now I'm going to add a document. And if I go back to the Sync Gateway console, I can see that there's, uh, there's, more, there's a bunch of output here. And I can see here that it actually stored that document on the Sync Gateway. And here's the doc ID. So just to make sure that it got stored correctly, I'm going to go and um, uh, I'm, I'm going to do a REST API call against the Sync Gateway. So it's running on localhost 4984. I'm using a nifty tool called PAW, which is uh, essentially just a glorified curl with a UI. So I'm going to go ahead and get that document, and it returns this, and that's the text we entered is uh, doc1. So that worked, so that verifies that the doc actually made it to Sync Gateway. And um, I'm going to go ahead and um, change that doc, and then go uh, re-request it. And now you can see that uh, check went to true and the rev ID got incremented. Okay, so now I'm actually going to go and add a new document. Um, 
and that will that should show up here, which which uh, which will demonstrate that this is um, that this is doing a, a continuous background pull replication. So anything that gets added to the Sync Gateway by other client other mobile apps will um, will end up uh, refreshing this. Will end up getting synced to this uh, local database on this device. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new doc called doc2b, hit enter, and then if everything worked, we should see it there. So that's uh, basically a walkthrough of getting your um, local sync gateway up and running and verifying that everything's working. Thanks for listening.